Hello my gorgeous little apple crumb cakes and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hello welcome my name is Brie and I'm just a crazy lover of makeup fashion and all that fun glittery stuff so if those are things you're also into please hit that subscribe button and join this little family but in today's video I'm gonna be playing with this beautiful little spooky palette right here this is from Nomad Cosmetics this is their new haunted Europe palette and I thought in today's video I would create two looks do some swatches and let you know what I think Think about it so if you are interested in seeing all of that then keep on watching yes. all right my cutie pies here we are and I'm I'm doing good I don't have that much things to talk about today nothing really going on not that interesting I'm just having a very low-key boring Saturday, but that's basically it. So let's get into this palette. So if you don't know about Nomad Cosmetics, they are a indie brand and they're all about like destination and travel. That's the whole theming around their brand. It is ran by a couple and they tend to create palettes from their travel. So things that inspired them while they were out, places they've been to. And this time they made it Haunted Europe one. So it's a collection of places in Europe that they've been to that has a very haunted history. So I thought that was really cool. I think this is the first time I've ever seen them do a kind of like Halloween themed palette. So I'm really, really about it. And I think they're overall a really cool brand. But here is the palette and it has this little holographic situation going on isn't that cool so it's like the lady in the picture nomad and then you kind of tweak it and it says haunted europe and she turns into like a caped woman holding a skull that is so cool and genius whoever created that did an amazing job i could stare at that all day and then this is what the back looks like and i'm going to show you guys inside i did already like do swatches and stuff and do some stuff from Instagram. So the palette is not as beautiful as I first got it. I probably should have filmed this before I touched it, but the <laughs> shades all had little imprints in them, like little bats and little coffins and stuff. But after doing my swatches, they kind of went away. But I just want you guys to see the colors. Beautiful. I like the variation in this. It has some depth. It has mid-tones, lighter shades, and a bunch of different shimmers. It's like a half colorful, half neutral palette. So very, very cute. And I didn't even tell you guys the price of this. This goes for $44 and it is on pre-order on their website. So apparently there was a lot of demand for this palette and they ended up going out of stock when they released. I think that was Monday when they released this. It's Saturday when I'm filming this, but it is available for pre-order and it says they will start delivering in October. And another cool thing about this palette is they are also donating 5% of the sales to Bat Conservation International. That is so cool. Save the bats. We need the bats in our lives. So I think that's awesome. I love that they're donating to a uh, cause. And it describes this palette as a lavish 18 eyeshadow formula with extra fine pigments, nine ravishing mattes, nine picturesque shimmers inspired by the dark fairy tales of medieval Europe. And it's also infused with bilberry seed oil to help restore skin for crease proof color, cruelty free and vegan. So we also love that. So that's everything about the palette, the beautiful colors. I think it's a good time to now go and do some looks and then I can give you guys my thoughts and everything after I've played with it a little more and see what I think. So let's get into look number one. Let's get into look number one and I wanna keep this neutral and maybe do like a pop of color on the bottom part. So I want to go into the shade right here. It's kind of a orangey brownie shade and this is called a Span, Spandau, Citadel. I think that's how you pronounce that word. Um, some of these names are a little difficult for me to pronounce but I will try my best. So I'm just going to just fluff that shade all through the crease as my transition shade. So I'm just gonna use that all throughout and do that. Now, Nomad's mattes are like more on the sheer side, but they are buildable and they are very blendable. They're just like a really silky, soft formula. So 
They're very forgiving, very easy mats to work with, especially if you're a beginner and high pigmentation scares you in mats. I would recommend Nomad Cosmetics Formula for sure. I think that made a really nice transition. So I'm gonna take this little Real Techniques brush and I'm gonna go into this like deep, kind of cool tone brown. It's called Drag's Home Castle. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> and I'm just going to concentrate that on the outer corner just to deepen up this look and give some smokiness to it. I do wish that there was a black matte in here to like make the looks get really dark, but at least they have a deep brown. I can work with a deep brown. So I think that's good. I think everything is looking nice and blended. I want to now go in with like a shimmer shade on my lid, but I'm gonna put on some glitter primer really quickly and I'll be right back. Glitter primer is laid down and I'm gonna use the same brush I used the glitter primer with. This is a Kaleidos brush and I use the NYX glitter primer. Of course, you could use any glitter primer, you could use concealer, um, you could just go in with a wet brush. You don't need to necessarily do this step. But I think I want to use one of the golds. I think maybe this one or maybe that one. No, I think I want to go with that one. They're kind of similar. One is a little more deeper. So I'm going to go with Hoskow, Hoskow Castle, Hoskow, something like that. And I'm going to just spread that all on my lid. Oh yes, it's a nice bright gold metallic and it is just sticking really nicely to that glitter primer. Hmm, I like that. It's a nice, warm, goldy, more nudey look. So now I want to use some green on the lower part, like that little pop of green down there I think would look really pretty. So I'm gonna take this pencil brush and I'm gonna go into Grendale, this like deep foresty green, and I'm going to Run that all on the lower lash line. It's nice and pigmented. Ooh, yeah, that has good pigmentation. It's going on really easily onto the lower, lower lash line. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. But I just want to take that all on the bottom. Okay, that looks really good. That's a beautiful, nice, like deep foresty green matte. I want to use a little bit of Mary Cemetery in the inner portion, just to add like a little bit of shimmer and just put that in the inner portion. Yes, that's going on really nicely. It's sticking to my lower lash line surprisingly well. I did not wet the brush or anything. I just wanted to see how it would do on a dry brush, and I think the shade is doing a lovely job. I love this. I love doing it looks like this. So I think I want to take Highgate Cemetery. It's like a shifty kind of little iridescent green shade, and I'm going to use that as my inner corner highlight. Using the same pencil brush, I just cleaned it off with a color switch. And I'm just going to put that in the inner portion. Okay, there we go. Here is the look. I like this. I like the pop of green. It's a little bolder than I was anticipating to go, but I love it. That's just what I do. So I'm going to go and find some like liner, figure out something for my waterline, do my mascara and all that good stuff. And I will be right back. Okay, I am back and I zoomed you guys out a little bit so you could see the look better. What do you think? I like the whole pop of green on the bottom. I feel like it just made the look even more interesting by doing that. But what I did off camera was I created this <laughs> massive wing. It just got crazy really quickly, like really quickly. I had to switch to a new liner and the only one I had was the Laura Geller Line and Define a Dual Dimension liner and it's this huge like kind of marker felt tip uh little pen here i like this product but it's really easy for the wing to get really huge with this and then for my lips i'm wearing the lipstick in nolita from nabla this is one of their like matte formulas in a 
lipstick form like bullet lipstick form it's really beautiful it's like a deep orangey terracotta shade really really like this if it's still available i'll link it below and then for my waterline i went in with the about face shadow stick and pearly i don't like this on the lid as a shadow at all but i think it does really well in like the waterline so i just wanted to have a little bit of a yellowy green shade to pop the eyes a little more and then i went in with the nabla major pleasure mascara and that is how i finished this look i love it i feel like it's very fall appropriate and really really cute it's not complicated but it still looks like you put in some work to create this look at least i think so but that was it for look number one let's now get into look number two okay so let's get into a look number two and i want to concentrate in the cool tone region i think i want to use this shade right here catacombs all over the lid it has these beautiful little blue sparkles Whew, cannot wait so i'm going to take this fluffy brush from kaleidos and i think who what do i want to do i think i want to start off with is it brand, brand castle ah oh, finally a word i can say from this palette it's a very like cool tone mid-tone purple has more of like a blue undertone and I think I'm gonna just put that all through the crease because this look is gonna be a very very cool toned vibe so I just want to just fluff that all through the crease okay I think that looks really good in the crease it's a more like bluishy purpley grayish mid-tone shade you definitely have to build this one up it's a little bit more sheer so i just been going over it it definitely can be built up so that is a very good thing about their shadow formula but i i like that so far and i think i do want to go into black forest it's like deeper blue because it's me, why not? Let's deepen up this look. Let's get a little bit more smoky. <laughs> and I'm just gonna dip right in there. I always appreciate a nice little deep uh, blue shade. And I'm just gonna focus that on the outer corner. That went on very nicely. I was able to build that up. There is definitely a lot of fallout from that shade so be careful. Uh, don't go in as rough as I did. Definitely want to like dust off the excess off your brush or do your makeup first if you're going to use that shade because it does have fallout. But shades like this typically have fallout. So <laughs> I think this is good. I wanted to keep the looks not so intricate and just keep it chill. So I think I just want to go into the shades for the bottom part. I think I'm just going to mimic pretty much what is on my lid. I'm not going to do any like different color. And I'm just going to start off with the Brand Castle with a pencil brush. Use that like all in the inner portion. And then I'm going to take Black Forest, the deep blue and dust off the excess and concentrate that and connect it up to the top just to keep the outer corner nice and smoky okay i think that looks good i basically just mimic the top uh, lid part on the bottom I'm not doing too much i'm going to go off camera really quickly and put some glitter primer down and i will be right back Okay, glitter primer is laid down, and now I want to use the catacombs all over my lid because that shade is just so cool with all the little like sparkles in it. It has these blue little sparkles and like it's like a taupey, a taupey dingy silver shade. I'm just gonna lay that all over and have this look definitely be more on that very cool toned grungy side this is a very you know like kind of gunmetal taupey silver gray shade but really closely i don't think you can tell there's these little blue sparkles all throughout and i just thought it was so pretty so i just wanted to use that all over the lid i love that it's just a very like dark dark gray like shimmer 
but I like it. In person, I can definitely see the little like blue sparkles when I look at it. But I'm just going to take this little pencil brush and I'm going to go into Bran Castle and just make sure I didn't lose too much of that up in this crease part. Just bring back the color. So I kind of want to use a little bit of this like pink shimmer shade a little bit in the inner portion just to add some pink to the look. I'm just kind of curious in how that would do. So I'm just taking it on the flat brush I used with the um, like gray metallic. And I'm just going to add a little bit of that in the inner part. Right? Does that work? I think so. <laughs> I just want to try it. Just a little bit. Just to have like maybe a little pop of pink in there. I think that was a good choice to add the pink in the inner portion. It just gave a little bit more like interest to the look and I just wanted to use another shadow. And this pink shade is really pretty. It has little sparkles in it too. So I was just curious about how that would look. And I, I think it I think it did something for the look. I, I don't know what you guys think, but I do like having a little bit of pink there. So now I'm gonna go in with a inner corner shade. I think I'm just gonna leave it there and go in with this one right here. I don't know how to say it. It's like Hoia Bashio Forest. Huh, I have no idea. But that shade, the champagne shade, I did wet my brush just so we could make it more intense or I could make it more intense. This feels more like a satin shade, but it is adding some brightness right there in the inner corner. And almost is like a champagne-y pink. Okay, I like this. I think it's fun. I'm not gonna do anything else with the palette and now I'm gonna go put some liner, figure out something for my waterline, put on some mascara and something on my lips and I will be right back. Okay, so I zoomed you guys out a little bit so you can see the finished look. What do you think? I like the cool tone vibes of this and I'm really happy I did put that little pop of pink in the inner portion. I just think it made the look a little bit more interesting and I'm feeling it. I also put on some falsies because I wanted this look to be more dramatic so i went in with the house of lashes iconic lights and i think i'm getting better at putting lashes on it took me one try to get these on and i think they look pretty decent what do you guys think i think i'm getting better at this and for the waterline i went in with the lethal gel liner and reverb it's a very light lavender shade i will use the laura geller line and define liner again to create a little bit of a wing and just line my eyes and then for my lips i went in with the liquid lipstick from kvd beauty this is the old packaging but this is the shade sanctuary so fitting for the theme and spooky season so i put that on it's a cool toned the mocha e purpley shade <laughs> is how i would describe it but i thought i went with the look really well and that is how i completed everything i do love how it turned out so now let's get into my uh, like final thoughts on this palette okay we have gotten to the end of the video now time for my like final thoughts on this palette and i already knew how going into it what to expect because Nomad has a very consistent formula. Every palette I've tried, it's all been the same. The mattes are more on the sheer buildable side, but they can build, they can lay upon each other. It is a very user-friendly palette. So it's great for people starting off with makeup that doesn't want something too pigmented or you just prefer a less pigmented formula, then you will probably really like the mattes from Nomad Cosmetics. The metallics are beautiful, they're creamy, there's different textures in here. Some like are more satin-like, like this shade right here is definitely more like a satin. Then they have some metallics that have little sparkly bits in it, like the one I have all over my lid and in the inner portion. They both have little sparkles in them and I love the little sparkle touch. I'm a glitter girl. But everything performed just fine in this palette. I do like it. The only thing I do wish, and I feel like I wish this in all of their palettes, that there was more depth, more deeper shades. They do a lot of mid-tones, they do a lot of light shades in their palette, and sometimes they'll sprinkle a few 
deeper shades like you do have the deeper blue and the deeper green but i wish it got even deeper like if they included maybe a deep matte black that would have been really nice because this is more of like a gothic darker themed palette it's Halloween it's supposed to be a little spooky so I, I really wish that there was maybe a matte black maybe take out one of these golds because I feel like these two golds are are very similar maybe this has a little bit more of an orange deeper tone and that's more like a like a yellow gold but I feel like they're very similar so we could have probably benefited from maybe a black shade being here instead that would have been nice but overall i think this was really nice it has good variety you can create a bunch of looks and the formula is very nice overall so that was my thoughts on this palette i love the looks that i was able to create and i love nomad overall as a brand but anyways guys you'll have to let me know in the comments below what did you think do you like the looks i created have you tried nomad cosmetics did you pick up this palette or just how you're doing. I love hearing from all of y'all. And if you're new here and you like fashion, makeup, beauty, and all that fun stuff, please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. I would love to have you here. And don't forget to check out the description below. I have the palette linked. I have all the makeup link that I have on my face that I use. I will also have other videos of mine that you might be interested in. Like I said, I'll have other Nomad Cosmetics reviews if you wanna check out their other palettes, as well as my contact information. I'm also on Instagram as Breezy Lifestyle and Breezy underscore beauty. If you want to check me out over there, I've been working a little bit more at putting content over there and having fun with it. And that was pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for being here, supporting my channel, for hanging out with me for a little bit. I really appreciate it. But I do hope you are doing well wherever you are in the world and just sending you love and light. But until next time, bye, guys.